Hello again, welcome. It's another edition of Connoisseur's Corner with me, Jordan Rich, and Anthony Giglio. Food and Wine Magazine's annual wine guide, 2010. He is the editor of that, working on the next one already. We talked a little bit about Languedoc in France, a terrific region with great bargain wines. And some of the names uh, may be familiar to the folks, some of the regional names. Yeah, Jordan, it's true. I mean, and, and even Languedoc has been simplified. It used to be called the Coteau de Languedoc, and the French finally decided that there was a, a lot to ask him, you know, in the international market to handle, especially Americans who shy away from French. And as of 2007, any bottle will be just called Languedoc. But that area will actually act as a uh, sort of a hub around uh, the more specific terroirs of that region that most people have actually heard of if they read wine lists, such as Corbière, Minervois, Fougère, saint Chinian, uh, Limoux, Pique Poule de Pinay, etc. There are 22 regions that make up the South. But um, if you ask any wine shop owner anything from the South of France, this is the kind of stuff they're going to show you. The fact that we're talking about it, does that mean there's more of a marketing push from that region of France to introduce these wines? I, I think that you know they've been pushing for years. I've, I've heard about this since I started to be a sommelier 20 years ago, but there has never been a better time when, you know, I, I was reading the New York Times recently that wines above uh, $25 have fallen off 30% in the last year. People just stopped mm. buying mid-range and higher priced wines. So that's perfect in this area where wines average mostly under 20. All right. The time, like the grape, is ripe. Thank you so much. Anthony Giglio joining us here on Connoisseur's Corner on WBZ News Radio 1030.